Holly's Packs. At you with another video. Um, this one, we got a box of cards. I don't know if we can get a good view of that, but there's a good view of the box of cards that we got off of the app, uh, the Meraki app. Uh, Mercari, I guess maybe it is. Um, so it wanted to just do a variety here. Uh, we got about ooh, 40 some odd packs. Um, so I'm gonna rip them and rip them. And they're all various years, various various kinds. Um, so we're just gonna do that. Just open this up. Uh, got this from KT Treasures on that app. Uh, I'll put a link to their page below. But uh, you know, it, it, overall, it ended up being some good, uh, some good stuff with this app. I think with eBay, you know, it's kind of harder sometimes to get like a good price point that you want with this uh, Macari app. Actually, if you work with people, they're, they're I think they're a little bit more uh, willing to to negotiate some pricing for you. So, ended up getting a good price for all of these. But nonetheless, here let's jump into it. Here, Ooh, Steve Finley. I think this was uh, just about his rookie card, but some fuzz on the end. But a lot of these obviously are gonna just be the generic packs here that we're looking for, right? We're just looking for some big names, the Mark McGuire types, um, looking for the Tom Glavin types in these kind of packs. Um, and there's also a lot of variations, not, I don't know necessarily with, ooh, this is a bad cut, with uh, the 90 Fleer, but I know with like the 91 Donruss, there's a lot of issues with the, um, you know, the trademarks on the card, uh, or there you go, Dan Quisenberry, uh, things like that. So it's, you know, or the period not ending up there. But I mean, those are really just variations. I mean, you know, they they corrected it. The one set that they issued out had the had no period, and then the other one did have the period. So it's more of a variation than it is an error per se. Um, so. But uh, let's look through some of these here. The 91 Donruss, Joe Carter MVP. Turner Ward, Travis Fryman, Jose Meza. He was a good uh, closer, I think, there towards the end, right? All right, award winners, Ricky Henderson. There we go. Gary Sheffield. Minus the uh, diamond or the gold teeth from his 89 rookie card. All right. So we're just going to, again, kind of grip and rip some of these. Let's just try and see if I can stay within the same <laughs> excuse me, time period here. And we'll just try and go through as many of these as we can. It will be a long video overall with all the packs, so bear with me. Hopefully we get some cool looking cards. And so far, uh, Roberto Kelly. There you go. Uh, and Eddie Murray highlights. Steve Balboni. Sid Bream. Now you get into the 89 tops. Again, we got the gum on these things. As we always mention, you know, look at that, it's just stuck right on there. So hopefully the card that the gum is <laughs> attached to is not the card you are looking for, because it's more than likely ruined. through a lot of these here. I know they're upside down and I'm sorry, a little off camera. All right, we also have some 1990 upper deck. So in some of these uh, packs of two, they have, you know, these, you know, they started putting some insert cards in there. So there's, a, you got the, and we got Ben McDonald. 
did I finish my thought? I probably didn't. <laughs> um, they have the like the insert cards. They have autograph cards. So they uh, there's a Yankee sticker. And here's George Brett. So who knows? Maybe we grab one of those. But I doubt it, right? So so far, not a bad. Bad pack as far as getting George Brett, Ben McDonald, and and the uh, the Dawson. Let's go back to the '89 tops, jumping all around, all different years, right? So just kind of like a not a mystery box per se, because I knew, oh, you son of a gun! Look at that. You got the John Smoltz rookie, and then you got the gum stuck on the back. I think I should leave it that way, huh? Yeah, it looks all, all messed up. Oh, well. I doubt we can get that off, but I'll eh, we'll keep it to the side. Who knows? I'll probably get another John Smoltz along the way. Oh, nice Wade Boggs. Hey, Garen. What the 89 donuts, maybe? Yeah, it is. Got it. We also have some oddball sets, uh, some sets in this one too that he gave me. So, not bad for just some fun. Craig Biggio, nice. All right, and go a little first year card for him in the Donruss. I'm sure there's an updated, uh, an 88 update. I'm sure he's got his rookie card in, but it's his first of the regular series anyway. All right, moving to 88 score. And I'm gonna go look through some of these and see if I can find some error cards in the end. Maybe make a video specific just to those cards and where the error lies. Um, but, wow. Talk about an unexciting pack. Yep. Um, and that's what people have always said about the 88 score. It, it, I think people, even though it was uh, scored first, I think, year of this uh, of them producing this card it was definitely pretty lackluster as far as uh, a set goes there we go Bo Jackson nice they got they, they end up getting better as the years went on but as you can tell I mean these cards themselves really aren't all that exciting and you got a Reggie Jackson Subset card, another one. All right, two Reggie Jacksons in the same pack. Nice. All right, jumping around again. So we'll go back to Upper Deck, and this time we'll do 1992. I think we have, um, I think maybe there's like a Jim Tomey rookie to look out for. Wade Boggs, nice. A couple of Wade Boggs cards in this thing. And of course, I'm always just gonna pull out the, uh, the Hall of Famers and, and all that stuff up. Sean Donston, there you go. That's going for wax packs, put that aside. Eric Davis. Uh, Bob Whitman, oh wow. He was a good closer, a good middle relief guy. Um, and Dimitri Young, he was all right too. Didn't he, Dimitri Young? I think he played with the Tigers for a while there. Uh, but Bob Wickman, I know, was a middle reliever. I liked him when he was on the on the Yankees. He had his moments, for sure. Um, but not a name that people know and love. Bob Walk, 
Yeah, you don't want your last name to be Walk when you're in picture. Roberto Alomar. <clears throat> I'll put him aside. I, he's not, I don't know. I mean, he's not a fan favorite of mine, but I think his rookie cards people still like to get. His off-field actions kind of hurt him a little bit. And Danny Tarnable. All right, let's just grab, just grabbing anything out of the box that I can get. All right, here's some 1990 tops. Yeah, 90 tops was a was a blah year. I mean, again, I know in this whack pack error, right? There's a lot of blah cards and sets but for me <clears throat> tops you know this is the first year they went from the it changed up their design from the 89 right with the with the wavy uh you know going from the traditional here to mixing up trying to get kind of fancy with the borders uh you have your nolan ryan 5000 strikeouts set to collect but overall I don't know. To me, this wasn't all that great. Vince Coleman. I always like Vince Coleman. I'll put him aside. I always had a affinity for him. Oh, darling. It's a very blah blah set. I don't, I don't like it. I still had the gum in here. Right? And again, everything's still stuck on ruining the card. Everything's stuck together. All right, here we go. Will Clark All-Star, Sandy Alomar. Oh, Kirby Puckett, there we go. Robin Young. And ended with the junior Felix. Right. Rappers are stacking. All right, so now the coins. I, I, I've never really opened these up before. Three metal coins and a stick of gum. And then the checklist is actually on the pack itself. So there can't be many, right? It has to be Benny Santiago, Tim Wallach. Go and who's the lucky? They said three coins. Where's the third? Right? Am I misreading that? Three metal coins. Well, ain't that some shit? Well, I only got two. <laughs> I guess if they were actually worth something, or you know. Be upset, but what can you do? You get what you pay for. All right, so here we got the '89 glossy mini set. Oh, nice little Kirby Puckett, Mark McGuire. I don't know if these are the league leaders. Uh, sexy checklist. We got Paul Molitor and Andres Galarraga. It's not bad. All right. I'm gonna open it. I never open these, but I'm gonna open this one. We got an 89 Fleer, and what I'm trying to do is get as much 89 Fleer packs and boxes and everything else that I can. We're gonna go on the hunt for the Billy Ripken error, and not so much the black box error, right? Where it, you know, it's just the black box over the the uh, wording um, but I want to try and get the uh, the white scribbled out one is you know so the white out error is the the more the more rare Eric Davis has a nice card Mark Grace that was 89 his rookie year no 88 was his rookie year so, uh, 
So maybe his first year of the regular card, but um, I'm not sure that's his rookie card. And there you go, you got uh, Robin Yount, Dante Bichette. All right, for the record. All right, is this a subset here? Yeah, this is a little subset. I, I forgot that they had these. Uh, here's a Roger Clemens one, so that's pretty cool. And, uh, Cannon Arms, third baseman. Jesus, Chris Sabo, and you and your glasses. All right, Doc Gooden. Got some weird cut on the side there. Mackie Sasser, Mel Hall, Dave Dubrecki. And you know what I'll do? Maybe I will split this up into two videos since it is getting a little long. Gary Sheffield, nice. There's 89, so that's that's rookie. Alright. There you go. So far a pretty good pack between uh Mark Grace and Sheffield there, as far as some first years going. And of course, Rick Honeycutt, can't have a pack without him. All right, let's open a couple more packs here. All right, let's try this again. All right, now I can feel there's three in here. So maybe I won't get a, and these are 1988. I didn't even look at the year previous to that, so. 1988, so. And I don't suppose the color means anything as far as this looks like gold and dusty. But yeah, like Jimmy Key. I don't know if that's like something. You got Tim Raines and Dwight Gooden. Not bad. A little dusty from the uh, gum, powdered sugar or what have you. But... Let's go to 91 Fleer. And not too many, like another uninspiring pack, if you will. Nothing too crazy here. Mark Grace, there you go. Give that, I'll give that, actually. I'm going to give that to Wax. There you go, so you can have that one. We're not even, not even halfway through the box yet. And I'm at almost closing in on 20 minutes here, so. Oh, wow, look at that. There's a novel idea. They actually put the gum in a cellophane. I don't know they did that. 89 league leaders, so that was smart. They didn't do that with the other one. But I'm glad because, you know, Tony Gwynn's the first card. Now it's not all messed up. Mark McGuire. We're going to see a lot of repeats here. All right, Nolan Ryan. Jack Clark, when he was, he was with the Yankees? I don't even remember him being with the Yankees. Ah. And Dave Stewart. And so just searching real quick. All right, we got some cello packs. We'll stick with these last two packs here, and then we'll pause this video and then go with a part two. All right, so now we got three coins again. Definitely making sure we're not getting robbed. John Crook, Steve Bedrosian, and Mike Greenwell. 88 might have been uh, close to Mike Greenwell's rookie year, I think, right? The coins, that's one thing I never got into was the, uh, was sort of the novelty sets here, like either the minis or the big cards or the, the coin cards, so I don't really have a lot of them in my collection when I was growing up. But these league leader ones, at least the good thing is you get a lot of, you know, big names, but again, they're mini cards, so, you know, for what it's worth to get. But again, another Tony Gwynn, another sexy checklist. And then another Paul Molitor. 
All right, so I'll pause the video here. Uh, we're about, as you can see, maybe halfway through the, the stack. I got a, another like 20 packs or so to go. Oh, another 89 um, cello pack in there for Fleer. So we'll, uh, we'll go through these uh, in the next video. Look out for part two.